One of the biggest Chinese aviation groups, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, released video of the J-15 fighter's first flight for the first time. The J-15 is the only aircraft carrier-borne fighter. Its maiden flight video has never been revealed before. The video shows the J-15 prototype taking flight on August 31, 2009. The J-15 design is based on a T-10K prototype aircraft purchased by China from Ukraine. The T-10K is one of the Sukhoi-33 naval fighter prototypes. It was reported that the documentation and supporting materials were not complete, delaying the Chinese project to build the first carrier-borne fighter significantly. In 2012, the J-15 completed its arrest landing and took off on board the aircraft carrier Liaoning for the first time. This marked the breakthrough of the J-15 project. After that, dozens of the J-15 fighters were built and delivered to the Chinese Navy. However, a few major flaws started to appear in the process. The first one is that the aerodynamic control system suffered a few failures, which caused a few accidents, killing at least one testing pilot and severely injuring another. It took another few years before the J-15 fleet became combat ready. The second one is that the J-15 only entered service in the 2010s. By then it was obsolete to fight against the U.S. fighters in the Asia-Pacific. The J-15 is not a stealth fighter, it will never be able to match the F-22 and F-35 of the U.S. military. This places the J-15 in more of a training role in the Chinese Navy. For the reasons above, the J-15 project has apparently slowed drastically. It has not received any major upgrades in these 10 years. Meanwhile, the J-20, J-16, and J-10 fighter projects all received greater investment to develop new variants or improve existing aircraft. The J-15 project did have some upgrade plans known to the public. One of them is the two-seat variant. The other one is an electronic warfare variant similar to the U.S. Navy EA-18G fighter. So far neither upgraded variant has entered service. The good news for the Chinese Navy is that the J-35 stealth medium-sized fighter is now in the testing stage. This jet will become the first mass-produced aircraft carrier-borne fighter in China. It is likely capable of matching up with the F-35 in the U.S. Navy and South Korean military. When that happens, with a large number of stealth naval fighters and a few more aircraft carriers in service, the Chinese Navy will become a true dominating power in the Western Pacific region. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, share and comment, it means the world to my channel that is relatively small at this stage. Thank you.